watch a film called Mr. Right. Mr. Right. Mr. Right. Is it about ninjas? No, it's not about the ninjas. Okay. But I feel personally attacked every time I watch it because uh-huh. she is what, for the most part, I am, and I'm just like, yeah, that's that's me. When what? I'm not when I'm not at work, yeah, that's that's me. And what's it called again? Mr. Right. Mr. Right. Mr. Right. Okay. Great cast. Great cast. Like, we're talking A list cast. Mr. Like, Right. Who's Mr. The star? Mr. Right. So honestly, I'd have to look it up because mm-hmm. I honestly look it up for me. Like we're talking, okay. it's British cast for British the most cast. part. Oh. But we're talking A list cast. A list cast. We're talking. Mr. Right. Is it on Net? Is it on Netflix or yeah, Amazon? It is. Okay. I think it's on Netflix. Yeah, it's on Netflix. All right. But. Great cast, Mr. Like, right. great, great premise. Great script, everything. It's about. I like British shows. Sitcoms. So it's it's not a British sitcom. It's not a British show. It's American. Yeah, it's got. We're British, with you, by the way. It's British. We cast. start rambling about movies and stuff. So so, <laughs> bear with us. It's, <laughs> it's, we didn't accidentally click the record uh, the the play button, the live button. So, um. Yo. Um. It's it's. it's Great cast. It's great cast. Uh-huh. It is about a Mr. Right. If you heard that, Mr. Right. It's called Mr. Right. Um, it is Netflix. about a contract killer who ended up having a brain issue. He got pretty much something uh-huh. fell on top of him, mm. and that his right. brain. His brain that sounds like a contract killer, brain brain injury. Brain injury. Yeah. And instead of actually killing the contracts, yeah. he goes around killing the people that hired him. Oh, and that's a it's, twist. It's a reverse. That's good. That's awesome. So I'm going to watch that. Write that down for me so I don't forget. Wait, it's Mr. Wright. Go it's see it. Fun. Mr. Wright's great fam. Cat how, how many Cisco and Eve? Two thumbs up or thumbs up and thumbs down? No, know. honestly, it's two thumbs two up. Two thumbs up. Like, okay. I love it. It's... Remember Cisco and Eve? Yeah. I used to watch that show all the time. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm Terrence, your computer concierge with Computers Plus. As we spent 12 minutes, as we spent 12 minutes talking about a show or a movie, um, your Computers Plus concierge. Want to wish everybody out there a happy Valentine's, my truly Chrissy, the um, kids, and for those Tosin, that have happy Valentine's Day. Anyone that has birthdays, happy Valentine's. Everybody out there, happy Valentine's from Computers Plus. And if you know me personally, happy Valentine's to you and your loving other people in your home, in your domicile. I'm Terrence Shifu Concierge, like I said already. And guess what? Today is Valentine's Day, which necessarily means that it's half off on all the candy. Tomorrow. So, which tomorrow? tomorrow? Did you have anything to do today? No. No. They're going to start. everybody. Those last, not, they're those they're last they're scragglers, they're those last scragglers in, in like the express lane. We've all seen them right in the express lane. They got like the big balloon with like the candy that, you know, like paying like 50 bucks for like a Reese's Pieces. Yeah. Tomorrow is 50% off. Today and for the end of February, Computers Plus is even 50% off on any laptops or any desktops. Apples, you can do the buy ones, get one free, and I'm excluding the custom gaming PCs and the Apple devices. So you still get discounts on those devices, but we're giving the buy one, the 50% off on any Windows laptops or any Windows desktop, excluding Apple, excluding custom game PCs. Now, we do have some prefab custom gaming PCs that have, you know, some mid-range um, graphics cards that you can still take advantage of that 50% off. It's just on the new pre-built ones. We aren't giving the 50% off. We got some great ones that we just built yesterday. Um, so anything new that we built for PC gaming, those are at the price. But we give discounts if you're military, if you're first responders. And first responders, people think it's just for like EMS or for nurses. First responders, even teachers, because we know during COVID, um, a lot of teachers were like on the front lines of getting those kids the information they needed to, to, to get through their school year. And that was tough uh, if you lived through COVID. Um, and, you know, um, that, that was a, a, a tough time in our society where we were, you know, at a social, a six feet social distancing. And that was tough for a lot of people that lost loved ones. They couldn't go to funerals. They couldn't go to weddings. They couldn't go. They couldn't see graduations. There were so many things that happened through that time that, you know, our hearts went out um, for everybody that went through it. Um, I, I lost someone close dear to me um, through COVID. And um, we were able, as 
something positive for our community, we were able to get um, our um, kids that were underprivileged in Cobb County, especially in the Ackworth Elementary School, desktops and laptops so they can go through their school year. That was a tough time. And so, you know, everyone that is making it through, I know we're supposed to be lifting off some restrictions in May. That's really awesome. That's really great. And um, we're happy to be here serving you guys for all your technology needs. Our goal is to make technology that you hold in your hands more simpler, more essential, more, more, um, more understandable. You know, these laptops and desktops don't come with instruction book booklets. So, you know, you kind of scratching your head trying to figure out what does this and what. Like a lot of people don't know what F1, F2, F3, F6, F5. F8, F9, F11, F12 on the laptop stands for. Those are different um, features on your laptop that allow you to do different things as far as um, with, with, when you're in your operating system and when you're out of your operating system. When you go into your BIOS, you can change out different configurations as far as battery, as far as, as, far as PCI slots, secure boot, UEFI, legacy. There's so many different information in your BIOS that uh, people are just unaware of um, with a computer. And, and not that, that you need to know because a lot of things you don't need to know about that. Um, those are some most things on the repair side. Um, but it's always good to know what's on your laptop. And if, if, and if you like to know, I'm, uh, you can Google it. Um, and a lot of features, you know, you can change the volume and, and, and the brightness of your screen by hitting the function button, the FM button, and then pressing some of those keys. Um, sometimes you can use them to um, to even turn on your DVD player. I know um, with Mac it was uh, F12. It would you know pop your CD in, and people say, "How do I eject my CD?" You hit F12, um, and then it will eject. Especially if you had a PC keyboard, you can use a PC keyboard for a Windows device, which most people don't know that you can do that as well. I know we put on a shortcut link a couple of months ago about short shortcut keys on your keyboard I think I'm gonna try to do that this week um, so for just a reminder I did a couple of classes last week I was at the North North Metro Women's Connection which was so awesome and it was a organization nonprofit that focuses on getting women the resources they need whether they may have a loved one in the military um, they may um, be coming out of a relationship that they just need some help and some guidance financially spiritually so North Metro Women's Connection um, I was honored to be a guest speaker for you guys' um, luncheon and I'd be welcome I, I'd love to do it again so or want, for anybody yeah so I would so if you had an opportunity if you're in Cobb County Google that North Metro Women's Connection and just and I these women are amazing so if you can donate to their cause they are you know a lot of times people are really hesitant about donating to different charities because they just don't know you you know so this one is an awesome awesome organization and awesome and they do wonderful work I put a little picture of, of me and one of the speakers one of the um, members um, on our Facebook she was in Janice was her name Janice if you're watching this podcast hello um, I look forward to meeting you again we had a great conversation so 50% off cat don't let me forget that you know what 50% off any laptops or any desktops now we had a gentleman reach out to us on Facebook and we we check our Facebook messengers um, we're having issues with Instagram so if you are an Instagram follower we're working with that thank you I'll, I'll talk to him about that um, um, we're working with Instagram I'm trying to there's some stuff that happened in there a lot of security features and a lot of stuff that we try to encourage you guys about uh, we do our blog every day on our website, which is ComputersPlusUSA.com, and we talk about different security things you guys can do to protect yourself. But there's some things that are on their side that they need to do. So we can only do so much, and then the people that create these things, they're the ones that um, have to take it up on their end and offer different security features. Hello. Love your dress. It's a pretty unicorn dress. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so there's a lot of so there's a lot of information out there that we do on our blog. So you guys just you know feel free to check out check it out at computersplususa.com. We have a subscribe button, so if you want to get more information, we got a YouTube channel. Um, so we're always talking about technology and how we can keep you guys safe. Speaking about keeping you guys safe, 
we were working with um, we work with law enforcement sometimes because we see a lot of scams and we get them the information as much as possible because we want to protect our community and we are so honored when we when other other states reach out to us and talk to us about different things that they can do um, and that they can that they can do to help protect their citizens as, as well so we we're really honored to get a call from a local state um, won't go into the name but a local state as far as how we can help them um, keep some of their customers safe so um, I love that and I think we're going to do another segment on that because there's a lot of scammers out there there's a lot of hackers and a little bit about what I was talking about at Northwest Met North Metro Women's Connection and it's not even tough to watch I just get tongue tied sometimes but um, you were saying well we'd like to actually post those addresses too to let people know not to yeah, we, them. we put you on blast so if you are a scammer or a hacker we put you on blast the second we find out that you're out there and there's a lot of hackers on Facebook Marketplace yep. and we have to tell our our customers and anyone that we speak to, if you are on Facebook Marketplace and you're using it as a way to sell, make, maybe it's an extra income, um, try to discourage them from meeting you at your house. You don't, people can create fake profiles all the time and you just don't know. They can steal profiles, they can create them, and if you want to sell something, let's say you really need the money and you're like, really, this guy wants to pay double or pay more, I just got to send the item, don't send the item, and also be cautious of who... Um, you invite to your house to pick up items, even yeah. though you leave it on the front door and you have a ring, you know, you have the camera. That doesn't stop thieves. That yeah. doesn't stop crooks. Because they, that, I mean, those are tools to help to, to, to like, you know, as far as your self safety and to let them know, hey, you are being recorded. But sometimes, you know, those, that doesn't, that's not always. Well, crooks. And, and a so, lot of companies, a lot of, a lot of neighborhoods are actually a part of these groups that they set up and the way my group is yeah. in the community that I live in, watch. Yeah. the well it's not a neighborhood watch per se yeah. and they've they've got it is they actually have it set up so much that we've actually been watching each other's backs in regards to they they go around they like don't have a business card they're like oh well you know you know your neighbor just got their house done that they yeah blah, blah, blah. the roofing you know, done magazines or, you know you know there's these are all types of of scams and hacks and people that you just don't know that walk or the, the cleaning the air duct cleaning the air duct cleaning yeah another one that's been big big so, scam artist so. You know, if you if you come across these ads, make sure you flag them. Make sure if and you're that, part of our yard sale group, flag the admin, us as the admin, so we can let all the other people in our groups know that hey, this person is a bad person. And vet them. You know, and seriously vet them. vet them. You know, and when you say like, what does that mean? So that means like, so if someone is, if someone instantly says, hey, give me your, you know, give me, um, you know, I can't call you. I can only text red flag if someone says hey um, I'll pay you a little bit more than your asking price um, just can you ship it red flag if somebody says hey let me pay you with Apple pay and you're a small business that can possibly be a red flag because again that there that Apple pay is just a link to someone's credit card it's not like Apple's vetting yeah. these creditors or vetting the people that have these um, access points on their phones it's just someone that got a credit card put it into their into Probably. their phone and then now they got Apple pay so for small businesses, that can be very big I feel bad for the restaurant businesses. Yeah. you know we we have been hit um, before and it's not something that every business can just you know write, write it, off. it off you know yeah. it's not it's not it's not as easy as said well and, if, um, and they're wanting you to ship it that where they're shipping it that where they're wanting you to show. Yeah, you can Google the address. You can Google the address and yeah. see what the reviews are like because a lot of people are actually posting a one star review being like, don't ship to this address because yeah. they're a scammer address, and which point we've done the same thing where we actually put them on blast. So it's like, okay, I know you're I know you're a scammer. I'm gonna sit there and I'm looking at the address. I'm doing this. I'm doing all my diligence yeah. because you, got, you don't, you gotta you be don't careful. sound that. Vet as much as possible. Check the address. Check the profile. Never let them show up to your house. Meet in a public place, maybe at your local police department. 
maybe at a grocery store somewhere where you want to make sure that well, if no. anything was to happen, you have an exit strategy. And also, and send them to your house know. doesn't allow you. When when send them to your house, it doesn't. You know, you gave them your address, and you're a real person. And now they know they got your address. If they follow you, they can know if you happen to not be at home. Maybe you're the type that you say, "Hey, I'm here over here at um, at um, Pinball Portal, and I'm jamming out at Pinball Portal." Um, and and then they know. follow you, and they know now they know you're not at home, and now and you let have an people know. That's the other thing too, because Jordan, I hate to be this let person, people know. but I'm I'm going to be this person. Uh, let people know if you're meeting somebody up because Georgia is unfortunately the top state for sex trafficking. Yes. So and we got a lot of problems in Georgia, but you know we. So you gotta just be cautious. And you have and to, you have to be safe for yourself. Send them to your house. It's not worth the five dollars, the ten dollars, the thirty, the hundred dollars, the thousand dollars. It's not worth your that life. money for your life. No. It just isn't. So um, businesses, we gotta take a little extra step and and vet and make sure you know we had a customer that came in here not too brief, not not too recently, and we say hey, let's see your ID. And let's match up the card with the license, because even that slow step, and I'm sure restaurants get hit a yeah. lot with people that just swipe. I mean, I buy a local pizza yeah. a, a lot, and 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 so um, there's times where I'll just kind of be shocked because the person behind the counter didn't ask for the ID, and that could be I could be anybody. Well, and, I, and I really on our end, our end, our our staff. Like he was like, okay, I need to see your ID. All he had was a paper copy, and yeah. it was it was from Florida. That so that was that happened to us a week and a half ago. There was a yeah. guy that came in, and um, we got you, and we're gonna put you everywhere. Cause and he and that. he wanted a MacBook Pro, and he right? was like, oh, I want this one. Yeah, didn't play with it, didn't didn't ask questions no. or anything else. Came out and with a paper license and an Apple Pay, and just. And and we and red flag red flag red flag and we didn't take it and then they left and they disappeared and then they came back well no they left they came back they were in and out they were in and out, out. In and yeah out. but but then and then they want they we pulled it and then they kept asking our tech oh can you go get you know a piece of tissue my friend's got a runny nose yeah. can you do that they, they, they were doing everything and everything to make them leave the front desk you gotta be careful you gotta be careful there are people out there that are here. To not only do you bad in your home, but they're also to, to, to able to do they they they're focused to do bad in your business, and and in this economy, which I feel so bad for Bad Bath and Beyond, yeah. they're they're taking a big hit. I think Microsoft, everyone's just kind of receding, I, receding. back um, because you know there was a lot of fraud out there, and and people think oh well it's only you know they can just write it off. There are rippling effects that are caused to every business. With people that have that mindset, yep. and so when think about that when you walk into your to your local business and say, "Hey, you know what? I want to see you guys around." So I'm a support. That's why I buy all local. I I, yeah. sh I will do local, 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 and I want to come uh, continue to encourage people to do local. You remember it was like right before COVID. I I went in this little trilogy and I went to all the different local places and I was like, "Oh, I love this. This is the best snow cone place. This is the best pizza place. Um, this is the best this." And because I am happy that these businesses are open and we remember during COVID yep. when they're all closed, we were like, oh my gosh, uh, my dry cleaner, my, you know, just some of the basic necessity things, businesses that we were, were accustomed to right. closed. And then we were like, oh my gosh, we need them. And so think about that next time when you're, when you're in, your, in your community, spend local, spend local dollars, support your community, support your local church, Support your local business person. Well, and if you see, and if you your see local fraud. softball team, softball team, support your local softball team and baseball because it's starting up, baby. Aqua, we're coming back. Softball, baseball. I'm there. Okay, you're saying. I was going to say the other thing was is let people know because that's what we do is we reach out to our other people yes. in regards to because yes. especially with the MacBook Pro we sat yeah. there and one of our you next our next phone call the next day was hey this yeah. is another business we work and we support gotta, with 
We do, the we do the mouth to mouth. You be the mouthpiece. If you see something that doesn't look right, tell your friends, tell your neighbor, tell your local police department, tell your local business owner, hey, this person is going around. We went, yeah. we, we call another um, we call partner another, company yeah. that we work with, another computer company. We said, hey, this person's going around. Yeah, you know, and I like working with other companies. Oh, I love, like, our repair, CPR, um, who's some other ones? Um, that's, that's the big ones that I know about. Genstar, uh, TBF Computing. We love working with our local computer stores because, again, we grow as a community. And so uh, if you want to grow with your community, support your local business. And if you're a business owner, support your local business by giving them information as much as possible. Yeah, because yeah. uh, how else are they going to know that everybody's going around trying to scam one another? We, we, we got to let people know. And that's the only way we know. During COVID, during COVID, um, we were, we got a, uh, I think it was an email or we, it was a counselor at Cobb County reached out to us because mm -hmm. they saw one of our videos. Yep. Um, and they said, hey, we Benny. need help. Benny. Benny, we need help. And we were able to put a call to action to our customers and yep. say, hey, if you have an old computer floating around, you're not using it anymore. This kid over here at this school needs one. And my God, it was so amazing to see how many people came in and just, we got those kids, those computers. Well, not and, only you know, that, that was but awesome. they sat there. That was the best lot, times of my life. It was this, not only that, but they sat there and between them, the teachers and everybody else, they actually helped pay for some of those computers too. Yeah, that was awesome. So, I, I am so happy that our company was able to do that. Um, three the, locations, 900 North Tennessee Street, 3473 Cherokee Street and 3330 Cobb Parkway. Just yeah, saying. At the, at the end of the day, I think we got... What's we Cobb coming? Gave away 210, 215 computers. Yeah, that was And then big. That was we big sold, I want to say it was 100... No, it was in the tune of 150, 175, yeah. Yeah. 125 computers with the help of everybody. With local donations. I mean, it, it was it was a time, and that was a time where community really started to build its bridges. And right now we're going through a time where we need to get back to our community and get back to our local um, brothers and sisters. I think that's about it. That's it? Yeah. I hate doing we, that. We like, finger guns. We, just, we touched on I just know it's like, it's like, I'm like, I'm going through my mind, like, did I hit that? Did I hit this? Did I hit that? One thing I didn't hit, it's tax season. Did yes. you hear the IRS said for people to kind of hold back in doing their taxes? I was like, oh, whoa. So, it's coming. Let's hope. I think most people have already actually done their taxes. That's a great lead-in for our rent-to-own, though, by the way. That, that was a lead-in. Or rent to own. So we have a rent to own program. It's very simple. I someone reached out to me yesterday, day day before yesterday, I uh, talked about our rent to own program. I got um, somebody on that on Saturday. And then we were saying, hey, and then he actually came in. He bought a tough book because he worked for the government, so he needed a tough book. We carry tough books. We carry peripheral. We carry like a lot of stuff. People like what parallel, parallel to SCSI port. We carry that in stock. So. You know what, Amazon, we love you guys sometimes, but local businesses are here and you just gotta ask your customers, hey, what is it you're looking for, what is it you need, and that's what makes us so different from all the other companies is that we listen. We carry everything. And to technology, because technology changes all the time. So we listen, we take it in, and then we put the plan, the plan into action. I'm Terrence from Career Concierge. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys drop us an email, drop us a comment, check out our YouTube channel, Facebook, TikTok, uh, everything out there in the community that we try to get our word out there. And I look forward to speaking with every one of you guys um, from now until infinity and beyond. Thank you guys.